today I'm actually going to style a desk because I've had a bit of an accident with some pens. I'd love to blame it on my niece, but it was actually my fault. They've leaked all on the top of this unit. And also I'm quite into rose gold at the moment, so I've been collecting lots of accessories. I've got my clock on the wall behind me, but I've got some stationery and bits and pieces, and I think it'll look really nice with this brown leather effect and the DC fix that I'm going to use today. So you can buy this by the meter online. I actually only needed a meter to cover this desk, so it's a really um, inexpensive way of giving it a new lease of life. And all we really need for this one is your tape measure, just so you can check the size of the desk and how much obviously you need. Your application kit, so you've got a smoother and a scalpel and just some scissors to trim it down. I'm just going to trim away some of this excess because it's going to pull back where it's, um, it's heavier. This has kind of got a really nice textured feel to it, like a leather would. So I'm going to start by lining up the um, straight edge with the edge of the desk. And this has kind of got a little beveled bit at the front. And I could put that into the curve if I wanted to. You can use the hairdryer and when you um, add heat to the DC fix, it makes it a bit more pliable, so it has a bit more give and it would go into that beveled bit. But I wanted to just have a leather top on this. So I'll just peel this back all the way along. Let's line up this edge. Okay. Good, so now it's attached to the front of the desk, I'm going to start removing the backing paper and just using the smoother as I go. So you push the bubbles outwards to the edge so the air can escape as you do that. And when you get a little fold, you can just pull it back and stick again. So I'm just getting to the end of the desk now, to the back. I've got one little bubble, I'm just going to use the um, scalpel you can just use to let the air out. So you can just make a tiny little um, hole there and then use the uh, smoother to get rid of that bubble. Now I just need to trim away the excess bit, so I just use the scalpel again. Um, and you're just finding the edge of the desk and then using that as your guide to pull the scalpel. So I'm just pushing that against the side of the desk. Great! Oh, I think that looks really nice. So um, what I'm going to do now is just push the desk back underneath the stairs and then I'm just going to use these little excess cut-off bits if I've got enough there to do some box files and I might put some rose gold on them as well. So I'll show you a little picture when it's all done in a moment. So I managed to use those off cuts that I trimmed off from the tabletop just to finish these box files and then I also added some rose gold onto the sides as well just to match all the accessories that I've got on the desk. So I'm just going to pop those in there. That's it. All finished. <laughs> 